Hey there, my name is Bree King. I am the Cat Facility Manager at Sammy's Friends Animal Shelter located here in Grass Valley, California. We are looking for volunteers to help cuddle our kitties and walk our dogs and help keep the shelter safe and clean for all of our animals. We utilize our volunteers in all facets, whether it be cleaning, dog walking, or just socializing all of our animals. We are a wonderful organization to volunteer for. It is a very rewarding experience to give back to the community and also help the animals along the way. Our volunteers also help us find wonderful loving homes for all of our animals here. So it is a very rewarding experience to come volunteer with Sammy's friends. My name is Alina Church. I'm the community engagement manager here at the Bear Yuba Land Trust. We have conserved over 20,000 acres of land and built over 50 miles of trails in Nevada County. Here at the Land Trust, we really pride ourselves on giving our volunteers a number of tasks that they can do at a, all skill levels, really. We can have people go on our preserves with our restoration crew, pulling invasive species, planting native species. All of our trails, we're also working on the trail stewardship team, where you can become a trail adopter, and we just have a really good time doing it. Hi, I'm Juliana. I'm a volunteer at the Nevada City Farmers Market. I've been volunteering for almost a year and I love it. It's a great community of local farmers and artists and it's wonderful. Go check it out. <laughs> Nevada County. My name is Rebecca. Uh, the Bank of Nevada County is here to feed those in need. Uh, we have a lot of different programs from our drive through distributions to home delivery program for homebound el elderly or disabled. Uh, we have school snack programs and community agency programs and we need our volunteers to help us make these distributions work. Um, our largest distribution serves around 500 households each one. Uh, we bring about 12 pallets of food that need to be organized, packed, and put into people's vehicles. Um, there's a lot of people that need these resources and it's great to be a part of it. Hey potential Patchworks volunteers, my name is Courtney, I'm with Freed. We are an organization that serves a five county area for older adults and people with disabilities, helping people stay independent in their own homes. We have lots of ways for you to give back to the community. The main one that we're always looking for is fix-it volunteers. If you're more of a social butterfly, we can set you up as a friendly visitor so that you can visit with someone in the community for about an hour once a week, find something that you both enjoy and spend time together. And if you'd like to volunteer from home, we are always looking for phone reassurance callers. If that sounds like a fun way to give back to the community and get yourself a 15% discount at the Briar Patch, come see us. Hi everyone, my name is Jessica. I'm Jennifer and we are part of the development team at Hospitality House. We're a local homeless shelter in Nevada County. We're here to provide wraparound services to our homeless individuals as they transition to housing. One of the great volunteer opportunities at Hospitality House is creating a cook team. You can also help us with special events. You can help our culinary specialist, Brian, in the kitchen. You can do dishwashing, help with administrative tasks, and we also have a camp cleanup in May that you can help us with. It's a great way to bond with your friends and family, and it's a great way to bond with your community. Hi, I'm Venus from IFM. Welcome to Interfaith Food Ministry of Nevada County. We provide free food to Nevada County residents as needed. We would also appreciate volunteers Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., and Saturday from 8 to 1 and 3 to 5. Hi, I'm Sierra with Sierra Harvest. I'm here with Bree, and we're excited to tell you about how we're partnering with Interfaith Food Ministry. And so this summer, you can help us glean school gardens in the off season and support IFN by bringing them that fresh produce. Bree, yeah. tell us more about it. Uh, gleaning. Well, you know, I'm 
doing big summer camp things over at the educational farm and I'll be there mostly and I really need some help in our school gardens to make sure that the kids are going to have the produce when they get back to school. So come and help me. Let us know. Hi, we're Sierra Streams Institute. I'm Jeff Lauder, Executive Director. This is Ali Stefanchich, our Outreach and Education Coordinator. We are a community and citizen science organization focused on environmental health here in Nevada County. And if you're looking for some wonderful volunteer opportunities where you can get outside and spend some time in our local creeks, or want to learn more about um, our local organisms and plants, uh, we have some great volunteer opportunities on our website at CRStreamsInstitute.org. Hi, my name is Maddie and I work at Circle, the South Hoover River Citizens League, and I'm the Community Engagement Manager here. Hi, and I'm Cynthia, the Education and Outreach Coordinator. We wanted to let you know that Circle's mission is to unite and protect the Yuba River watershed, and there are a lot of ways that you can get involved and support the organization. Some of our programs that we have going on are the River Ambassador Program, which starts in the summertime. We have the State of the Yuba, Wild for the Yuba, the River Monitoring Program, which also runs through the summer, and so much more. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you on the river. I'm Danny Robertson. I'm the Executive Director for Wolf Creek Community Alliance. We're a 501c3 nonprofit that works to protect, restore the Wolf Creek watershed uh, right here in Grass Valley. When people come out and volunteer with Wolf Creek, you are really helping the organization, you're really helping the watershed itself. Um, we've got lots of volunteer opportunities that you can come out and help with, whether you're helping out in the city of Grass Valley, like we're at right now along the Wolf Creek Trail, or you could help out at our new Peterson uh, Preserve in the southern part of the county. We've got um, lots of plans for that site. It's our first foray into land ownership and we're looking to make the most of it. Yeah, so I hope we can, we'll be able to see you at one of our volunteer events. What's important to Placer Land Trust is quality of life, not only protecting what we have now, but making sure that it's there for future generations.